Meanwhile, the Credit Suisse fiasco has dragged crude prices lower. It's disrupted its path to recovery, further extending losses. And this as Brent crude hovers following below $75 per barrel. Both the WTI and Brent crude have fallen close to 4% and now touching three-month lows on the back of the banking crisis in the United States that we're talking about and this in the last trading session alone. Investors are uh, looking at rate hikes from the Fed and they're likely to impact oil prices. What are the other triggers for crude oil? To discuss this, uh, let's uh, bring in the commodity expert G. Chandrasekhar, who's joining us on the show. Great to have you with us, uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar. Do tell us, now we're seeing Brent crude prices. They're slipping below $75 to the barrel mark for the first time since 2021. What are the factors at play over here? Do you see further demand getting crushed for crude oil going ahead? Well, it's like this. Uh, oil, and oil is under pressure, as all of us know, both the Brent and WTI. But this time, it's primarily macro concerns. It has much less to do with supply-demand fundamentals. Usually, the uh, S&D plays a role in market volatility, but this time it is macro concerns. In the second quarter, in my view, uh, the, the oil market is going to be slightly oversupplied, primarily because of rising OPEC production, much uh, against our earlier expectation. Uh, in fact, Saudi Arabia is, is producing uh, slightly more than what it used, what it produced uh, last year. And on the on the other hand, when we look at the demand side in the second quarter again, uh, my expectation is demand is expected to be slightly lower, primarily in the OECD countries, that is the developed countries or industrialized countries. And therefore, on the one hand, supplies are rising uh, above expectation and demand is actually underwhelming, particularly in industrialized economy. This is this this is the big picture which is emerging for Q2, and the markets always take cognizance of what is going to happen uh, at a forward point of time, and therefore the the markets are reacting today to what's likely to happen in the second quarter. But more important than that, we should also look at uh, high levels of inflation, rate expectations, March 21st. 22nd of US Fed has a meeting and, and therefore uh, there is a great expectation that there will be uh, one more round of rate hike and, and therefore that's also that's also pressurizing all the commodity markets including the uh, crude oil and of course the banking uh, issue whether it is SVB yes. or other other banks a collapse of the banks and therefore which has a broader implication for the financial yes. system all these are weighing yes. on the market. Yes, and all these factors are going to be at play. So considering all of these uh, factors that are at play, Mr. Chandrasekhar, at what levels do you expect oil prices to stabilize if we can expect that in the near future? And by when do you think we'll uh, yeah. arrive at that level of stability? Yeah. No, given these, these uh, the current concerns, obviously less committed financial investors are also exiting the market. And that is why prices uh, have declined below. Brent, in particular, declined below uh, $75 from uh, uh, early early 80s uh, un until probably two weeks ago. But look at look at other supportive factors. I want to come to that. For example, the drilling activity in the United States is at a nine-month low. U.S. shale output is not rising uh, as uh, as uh, robustly as was expected. Russia is threatening to reduce its export. And I am quite bullish on Chinese demand. Uh, although the first uh, two months, the numbers are not so favorable, but they also had their festival season, holidays, etc. But I expect Chinese demand to actually rise in, in the coming months. And my, my feeling, very strong feeling, looking at the current situation, that this current weakness is somewhat temporary. Possibly it will spill into April. Uh, but after April, there is, I believe, a possibility of uh, a rebound in crude oil prices as the uh, as the as the uh, as economies start to uh, start to improve. And also remember, the whole world was talking until last year about recession. Nobody is discussing recession. Even if there is a recession, it will definitely not be in 23. It could be in 24. And then for all right. these are supportive factors for crude oil therefore my sense is this is uh, temporary this will continue it's a temporary for some time. situation yes yeah, that's all
So as far as crude oil prices are concerned, you think that uh, we are going to see a recovery in these prices uh, by April. Let's see exactly whether or not that happens. Okay. And we'll touch base with you again, Mr. Chandrasekhar. Thank you very much for joining us you. with your perspective. Thank you. Thank you.